evolution of life forms a theory according to theory of special creation which was given by old religious literature it believed that all living organisms which we see today are created as such that is god or some magical creation or we can say some special creator created it us as such as we are at present diversity was same and will be same in future that is the diversity which we see amongst ourselves plants and animals it is same since the time of creation and it will be same even in the future earth is 4000 years old this theory of special creation also believed that earth is 4000 years old but this theory was challenged in 19th century when charles darwin worked on the theory of natural selection in which he said survival of fittest that is the one which is adapted towards the external environment is fit to survive nature itself selects the fittest and then the fittest survive thus he gave us this theory of natural selection which says that amongst many organisms their races species or whatever it is believed that survival of fittest occurs and it by survival of fittest he meant reproductive fitness because if reproductive fitness is witnessed then only the reproductive or reproducingly fit organism will give rise to increased or much more number of progeny or will leave behind maximum number of generations thus and he also said that variations occurs these variations are believed since extinction has occurred you, we have seen we have dug out the fossils we have seen in those fossils that yes the variations the variation in the formation of bones limbs etc is gradually occurring and has occurred so charles darwin in 19th century the theory of special creation was challenged then charles darwin gave us theory of natural selection which told us that survival of fittest occurs and variation occur, occurred and is occurring that's why extinctions occurred evidence for evolution fossils rock sediments then we can see the cross section of rock sediments you'll see fossils of different ages different age rock sediments etc are found in which many dug out mammoths dinosaurs etc their bones etc have been found these gave us the evidence of evolution divergent evolution is one which states that same anatomically the structure is same but it is having different usage example is the structure the anatomical structure of bones and limbs in case of whales bats cheetah and human beings is quite similar but their function is very different amongst four convergent evolution in this the structure is anatomically not same here the same structure was there but the usage was different here the anatomical structure is not similar but it is having same usage example could be wings you can see butterflies also having wings and birds are also having wings but the anatomical structure of both the wings are very different now the another evidence of evolution was moths in 1850 in england when moths were collected or were seen it was seen that their wings were white colored that is they were light in color but in 1920 after industrialization when these moths were again seen it was found that they have now changed into black colored or their wings have more melanin it was believed for the fact that initially the trunk of the stem of the trees were white so that's why the moths were white colored they were adaptive to their environment so that predators cannot see and eat them but later on when industrialization took place as the trunk and the stem of the tree got colored due to tar deposition etc the moths also evolved into black colored wings so that they are not been caught because if they'll be white colored their wings are white colored and stem has gone dark it will be contrasting background and hence predator can see them easily so thus it proved this 
थ्योरी ऑफ इवोल्यूशन एंड गेव अस द एविडेंस फॉर इवोल्यूशन